Let's take a look at these volume questions. Uh, you're allowed to use a calculator for all of them and I would probably recommend doing so as some of the numbers are a bit nasty. So here we want to work out the volume of the cuboid but in cubic millimetres. But you notice that the dimensions are in centimetres. So first of all, change these to millimetres. It's much easier converting these lengths into millimetres than it is going from cubic centimetres to cubic millimetres. So it's going to be 40 times by 52 times by 85 and that comes to a total of 176,800 cubic millimetres. Same thing here, we want a volume in cubic metres but these are in centimetres so let's turn them into metres so that's going to be 2.5 multiplied by 6.4 multiplied by 8.6 and that comes to a total of 137.6 cubic metres. Here the volume is going to be given in cubic centimetres but these are in millimetres so let's turn them into centimetres so that's 4.7 times by 4.7 times by 4.7 and 4.7 times 4.7 times 4.7 is 103.823 cubic centimetres. So we need to calculate the volume of this prism. Now the volume of a prism is the area of its face multiplied by its depth. Now here the face is a triangle. The formula for the area of a triangle is base times the height divided by 2. So that's going to be 6 times by 5.2 divided by 2 and then multiplied by its depth which is 10. So that comes to a total of 156 cubic centimetres. Question 5 is very similar. The area of the face is 9 times by 14 divided by 2 and then we're going to multiply that by the depth which is 16 and that comes to a total of 1008 cubic millimetres. Number 6. Again the volume of a prism is the area of its face multiplied by its depth or the height in this case. So here we've got a circular face. The formula for the area of a circle is pi r squared. So it's going to be pi r squared times by 10. So that's pi. We've been told to use 3.14 times by the radius, which is 3 times by 3 times by 10. And that comes to a total of 282.6 cubic meters. So we need to find out the volume of the plastic. So I'm going to work out the volume of the roof. I'm going to work out the volume of the base and then I'm going to subtract the volume of the hole. So the base is uh, 40 times by 51 times by 85 and that comes to a total of 173,400. Added to that is the uh, roof which is a triangular prism so we need the area of this triangle which is 54 base times height times 20 divided by 2 multiplied by the depth which is 85 and that comes to a total of 45900. Now the volume of this hole is going to be 17 times by 17 times by 85 and that comes to 24,565. So the total volume of plastic is the volume of the roof plus the volume of the base but then take away the volume of the hole that's been cut out so subtract the 24565 and you'll get a total of 1947355 and that is cubic centimeters. Question number eight so what we've got here is we need to find out the volume of the wood used so the total volume of the wood of the solid block is going to be 30 times by 30 times by 30 and 30 times by 30 times by 30 is 27,000. So originally when it was a solid piece of wood it was 27,000 cubic centimetres. So how much wood's left after you've got rid of uh, these six holes for the bottle? So it's going to be six lots of, now these are cylindrical, now the volume of a cylinder is going to be uh, the area of its face which is a circle so pi r squared multiplied by its depth which is 30 and we are told that the um, these holes have a diameter of 8 so if the diameter is 8 then the radius is 4 
So 6 times by 3.14 times by 4 times by 4 times by the depth of 30. That comes to a total of 9,043.2. So all we need to do is subtract the volume of these holes from the volume of the solid wooden block and we'll get the volume of wood left which is 17,956.8 cubic centimetres.